Welcome to Lifelines on Infobox TV. My name is Natalie and today we are looking at vaginal odor. An offensive odor from the vagina is an ailment that many women suffer and it has been the cause of much embarrassment, especially during intimate moments. Let's find out how the men think about this. I will let her know that the thing is not smelling good at all, but do something about it. If only you love her. If it's a new idea, we will not be able to go to the house. No matter how the right I become, if I hear that smell that thing, it will just shoom automatically. At that moment, I make a throw plane. So that was from the men. Let's find out from the women how they keep a clean and healthy vajayjay. I just use uh, water, normal water, clean water to wash the place. Maybe if I have not taken a shower that moment, I'll just have to uh, tell him that, excuse me, let me take a shower. Yeah, shamo. He used for tissue coat. Hello, ekwe nye, nke nu fo, jame, any time, ke shamo. When it time, jame, you dry. You just um, use clean water, yeah, to wash that place, and you're okay. It's perfectly natural for your vagina to have a certain scent. But while how you smell down there can depend on your daily activities and your diet, Vaginal odor can also be an indicator of a serious infection that you may sometimes not even be aware of. That is why you should visit your gynecologist often. Meet the Chief Executive Officer of the Airport Women's Hospital, Dr. Paul Enin, a seasoned gynecologist and obstetrician. Vaginal odor is caused by an what we call bacterial vaginosis. It is a condition in which the normal protective vaginal flora, vaginal mucosa, has been killed off or has gone down in numbers. One would expect that a woman who cleans herself every day will know how she smells. And if it is not offensive, if it's not malodorous, then there's no problem. Most women are able to come and tell me, the doctor, I have an odor. So I expect that by the same standard, other women will know. But there are times that they don't. And when I examine them, I may tell them, well, because I have an instrument that I open the vagina with, and I examine. In the process of examining, um, I may smell. Okay. Um, therefore, I'm able to tell the person that, oh well, there is a discharge that they themselves may not be aware of. How exactly should a girl wash her vagina? The vagina has a protective bacteria called lactobacillus that live in the vagina and protects it. After menses though, when the blood is there, blood is a good medium for bacteria. So at that the time of, after you finish your menses, if you want to wash, put your finger in deep and clean out um, the vagina, there's nothing wrong with that. We doctors don't advise people using strong um, solutions, strong soaps to wash the vagina every day. If you did that, whilst you think you're protecting the vagina, you're over cleaning, you will kill off your lactobacillus and the normal protective bacteria has been removed. Therefore, any weak organism in the vagina can begin to grow, will give you an odor. Is there any other infection, any other vaginal infection? Oh, the other one that tends to give you a lot more odor is um, trachomonas. That does give you a lot of discharge sometimes greenish, yellowish, thick, but very strong odor. If you have anything, foreign body, people leaving tampons, Good. people leaving cotton, pieces of cotton wool that they use, and people even have, leaving condoms. In their vagina? In their vagina. They may make, have sex with their partner, and the penis can come out and the condom stays. Then, when she comes in, in view with the benefit of our speculum, where we open and look into the vagina, are able to see 
it's, it's a foreign body. It's a foreign body. But it's sitting in there. When we pull it out, yes. it turns out to be a condom. The, the condom in you. What implication does it have with a man? A man who um, the legs a girl who has an infection, or a vaginal infection. If the person has, say, gonorrhea in the vagina, <laughs> and he does that, then the gonorrhea will infect the man's mouth, his teeth, his tonsils, and everywhere. And he could have, yes, gonorrhea tonsillitis. In the mouth? In the mouth, yeah. Finally, what, how, how do I keep a healthy vagina? One of the things that allows the vagina to stay healthy and be odorless is for it to air. So if people wear jeans without underwear and um, to air the vagina, it's fine. It's fine. Washing, cleaning the vagina, at least outside, every day, twice daily will be fine. Before in the morning and going to bed, you wash, wash the labia majora, labia minora with plain, light soap or clean water. Avoiding nylon underwear and wearing cotton underwear so you don't build heat in the vagina. Losing weight so you are not fat between your legs. That tends to keep heat, build heat, because what makes bacteria grow is heat and moisture and food. For if women would insist on their partners using sanitizers before they even touch the vaginal area, it may be a help. Thank you very much, Dr. Paul Ernin. Well, ladies, there we have it. I've been speaking to Dr. Paul Ernin at the Airport Women's Hospital. My name is Natalie. This has been Life Lens on Infobox TV. Bye.